So what we're doing here is if we have a chromatogram, we've got some kind of unretained species and then we've got two peaks. So we want to figure out the re resolution between the two peaks. Um, and we have some time of injection and also uh, the retention ratio or the capacity ratio of the second peak. So we need to put on a few um, uh, values here. We know that the retention time for the first peak is 22.5 minutes and for the second peak is 24 minutes and then the void time the TM is 0.32 and we also have a peak um, width so we're imagining these as triangles so we draw tendons along the edges of the peaks so the ba base peak width for the first peak is 0.82 centimeters and for the second peak we do the same thing and it's slightly wider so we've got 0.94 centimeters now the first thing we have to realize here this is in minutes is that for our calculations everything has to be in time units so we have to convert centimeters to minutes and we do that using the chart speed knowing that it's five centimeters per minute okay so let's go um, go forward and do our calculation so the first thing we need to do is convert centimeters to minutes um, and you can look at the units here uh, but if you have 0.82 0.82 centimeters then we need to divide by the chart speed to get minutes so the centimeters cancel out we get minutes and that will give you 1.64 minutes and with the same with the other peak width so we have 0.94 centimeters um, dividing that by 0.5 centimeters per minute we get a value of 1.88 minutes now we can um, use our equation you know, the difference between the retention times so 24 minus 22.5 divided by the whips added together so it's 1.64 plus 1.88 that gives us our, our resolution. So the resolution ends up being 0.43. And normally we consider res resolve to be 1.5 or above, so these would not be considered resolved. Now if we look at the retention factor or the capacity factor, and we give that the symbol K, that uh, equation is the adjusted retention time divided by the void time. And remember adjusted retention time is the retention time minus the void time. So this is a pretty simple calculation. Again everything needs to be in the same units, time units. Uh, so for the second peak retention time was 24, void time was 0.32 minutes. And we divide by 0.32 we get an answer of 74 with no units. And again, this would be considered a little long, so this is something that's being retained too long in the stationary phase and probably peak um, broadening, becoming broader than it needs to be and taking too long.